hello all welcome to codecon here we are uh, with another uh, interview question which was asked by one of the fan companies so uh, here we are given uh, the total uh, the clock towers table right and we need to find the total clock towers for each employee and also here uh, in, the, in the flag column if you can see uh, i means entered and o means he left the office or the decks anything right so for employee id triple one four uh, he swiped in i means entered he swiped in at 8 30 and he left at uh, 10 30 again he swiped in at 11 30 and he left at uh, 3 30 right so uh, we need to calculate what we need to calculate the total clock towards so focusing on employee id triple uh, one four uh, in initially he came at 8 30 and he went at uh, 10 30 right so initially he spent two hours and then what he did he again came at 11 30 and left at 3 30 then he spent four hours right so totally he spent six hours in his decks right similarly for employee id one triple one uh, uh sorry uh, <coughs> uh one 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 four he spent uh, he, he went in at 9 30 and he left at uh, uh, 5 30 right so for him what happens is that uh, he uh, spent nine hours uh, eight hours in his desk right so we need to write a code uh, to just print this particular clock towers right so what i will do is that i need to first check the um, when, when focusing on a particular row suppose we are focusing on this row i need to first uh, check the next row the next flag and also i need to uh, print the next swipe time right so uh, by doing so i will get uh, uh, a series of uh, Mm, uh, like uh, flag events happening and i will just code and it will be more better better in understanding right so select uh, star comma mm, like from clock towers okay select star comma lead lead on flag by one right over partitioning it by M M P D underscore ID order by order by suppose M P D ID or swipe okay order by swipe yes. next underscore flag and similarly I am going to uh, create another lead function where I'll be uh, partitioning by swipe uh swipe and partition by employee id order by uh swipe okay order by swipe as next swipe now if i run this particular query see what i am getting for the for the first row uh, he swiped in at 8 30 and he swiped out at 10 30. for this one we will be not cons uh, for the next row he swiped out at 10 30 and he swiped in at 11 30. For this particular row, he swiped in at 11.30 and he swiped out at 3.30, right? And for this particular row, we, we are having no such information available, so it's null null given him. So consider only this, uh, this employee, like, like the 111114, right? For this employee, you can see we are going to consider only the flags whose combination is like IO, like the flag is uh, he entered and he left flag and next flag that means the flag is i and the next flag is zero o for that case we need to calculate the difference of the time so if we calculate the difference of this particular uh, row so if i just code and, and just put it in ct like with cte as this one and then select star from cte cte we need to just consider what we need to just consider the combination like i and o right so i can here put where flag <coughs> is equal to i and next underscore flag is equal to o right so if i just run this query uh, you will see <coughs> what i am getting is that the two rows which shows the uh, the uh, uh, the getting in time 
and the going out time right so now if we can uh, just uh, get the difference if we can just make the difference of these two particular uh, thing we will get the output right <clears throat> the time difference we need to calculate now now difference okay and date date diff function for hours comma uh, the starting date will be swipe swipe and the end date will be next swipe next swipe as diff okay we are getting the difference right so for this particular employee the first uh, so, uh, he enters at 8:30 he leaves at 10:30 so the difference is 2 and for this particular employee itself he again enters at 11:30 and he leaves at 3:30 so the uh, difference is 4 and for the next employee he uh, enters at 9:30 and leaves at 5:30 so the only one uh, record is present so the difference is 8 what i will do next is that i will just store this in ct2 ct2 as this one and then what i will do i will select the empd underscore id comma sum of the difference as total uh, hours spend from city two and i will just group by group by pd id okay i'll just group by the employee id right now if i run the query just bring it down okay run the query okay there's a problem here uh, okay select from near city to okay a comma is missing here yeah see so i'm getting the desired output right so what happens here is that i'm just uh, using the sum function to aggregate uh, the difference column that we found in this particular city right and then i am grouping it by the employee id so i guess this solution is clear to you guys i will give the um, solution in the description box and also the table do try it by yourself and uh, and thank you for watching we'll meet you in the next uh, problem